As we come to the end of the 20th century, our world is changing, expanding, and becoming more complex. Different cultures now, for the first time, come together in a global business market. And the information exchange through high-speed computers on the information highway brings opposing societies closer together than ever. So in this new time of cooperation between cultures, we must adapt, tolerate, and be respectful of these societies. We must not be isolationist, just as America was at the beginning of the century and before World War II. America was a quiet giant cut off from the rest of the world, a sleeping, slumbering giant until one day in the morning of December 7th, 1941, at 8, 10 a.m., the Japs sneak attacked Pearl Harbor in wave after wave after wave of zero torpedo bombing attacks. The Japs sent thousands of Americans to their deaths, but, but they had awoken the sleeping giant. The giant came back and pummeled the Japs into the ground. We decimated their country and then built them back up and gave them new factories just so they could come back and take our industries away from us and play dirty pool by undercutting prices on products. And then, and then they called American workers lazy and unproductive. Well, I guess the American workers weren't so lazy and unproductive when they made a little package called Fat Man and Little Boy, did they? And when they built thousands of ships and tanks and planes and beat the sneaky little Japs into the ground. If they could even have one single independent thought apart from their master brain sending out pulses like an ant farm, they still wouldn't have enough good ideas and have to steal them from the Americans and get their patents and copyrights and take everything they... Free your mind.